Hey guys, I'm here with Amy Sillenberg, and she's here to talk about your one year anniversary of Climate Smart Missoula. And for uh, those at home or online who are watching, what is Climate Smart Missoula? Um, Climate Smart Missoula is a newish uh, community effort to address climate change, both um, how to reduce our carbon footprint and how do we prepare for changes that are coming given climate change. So it's a super collaborative community project. Um, we are actually a program of the Missoula Community Foundation. And we kind of work as a, as a hub, fostering partnerships, connecting people, and taking action to address climate change in our community. Cool. Very local. Cool, and um, after one year, what kind of stuff have you guys have, have done in this past year that you really want to highlight? Yeah, so um, we, we did, for, this is an ongoing effort. You know, people have been sort of addressing climate change in our community for many, many years. We formalized ourselves last fall, so 2016 is our first full year. Um, the big project that we really launched this year was a, um, kind of an adaptation and resiliency project called Summer Smart, helping to prepare our community for changing summer conditions, wildfire smoke and heat, and we did work with partners to do a whole bunch of um, education and outreach and um, starting to plan and work for how we, how we better prepare, especially working with vulnerable populations, folks that are sensitive to smoke, um, seniors that may have a hard time with extreme heat, those kinds of things. But at the same time we're doing that, there's also a lot of efforts to um, reduce our carbon footprint. We're actually just finishing up a inventory to say, you know, figure out what is our carbon footprint um, for the community. How much energy do we use and then how can we um, start to reduce that? And that's going to be a big project for 2017 is the actual getting our community behind um, hedging that that footprint downward. Mm -hmm. um, we worked on transportation issues. We're really into um, working with Trees for Missoula and some projects around building more shade and, and trees in our community because that helps when it gets hot and there's a lot of benefits to having a stronger um, urban forestry program. So it's kind of all over the map. Yeah, that's really cool. Um, and you're also having a celebration event happening at one of the breweries here in town. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, we've been um, we've been meeting at Imagination Brewing at doing what we call monthly meetups. So a different area, a topic area around climate change the first Thursday of every month. And so we thought, well, this final one in December, we'll turn it into a one year celebration and a party. Um, so from five to seven um, this Thursday at Imagination Brewing, just around West Broadway, um, we're going to be meeting. We have um, in the tap room, and we're going to be giving away what we consider our first annual Smarty Pants Awards, since we're Climate Smart Missoula. <laughs> <laughs> so we have four awards we're going to um, surprise people with and give away. And then we have a cakewalk. We have some kids' activities, and it's just an opportunity for people to. Um, to, to come and learn more about us, but also figure out where they might tap in. I think there's a lot of people looking, hey, what can I do in my local community right now on climate change, sort of given the scope of the problem and the, the international response and the, you know, we just, yeah. we know we need to, to dive in deep and, and start doing more. What, um, what kind of uh, events that are, uh, are coming up, um, what, what, are your, uh, what do you hope to do in the future? What, what do you hope to do with your second year? Our at second year, yeah. Well, we want to continue to build out our Summer Smart program so we can really help, um, you know, make a difference for um, some of our vulnerable populations and folks in the community. Um, and that's, again, a lot working with different partners. Um, we also really, so now that we know our energy footprint, we're going to be kind of releasing a report on that um, in the next couple weeks. Um, we really want to f work with the community to figure out how we can all reduce our energy use to so have a big energy challenge. Can we as a community um, reduce our energy footprint by 10%? Um, it, there's a lot of things that we could do in the built environment, whether it's residents or homes or buildings. Um, so that's one of the big projects. We're definitely going to build out some of the things we started with Trees for Missoula, um, working on helping to connect um, Trees, especially in places where people don't have them, they're really good, helpful to cool, and there um, <laughs> a lot of benefits to having a strong urban forestry program is one project. Um, and you know, there's just a lot of connections between climate and health that we uh, want to continue to build out. Great. Well, I hope the best for you guys. Thank and, you. And congratulations on one year. Thank you. And of course, if you want more information, you go to. Uh, um, MissoulaClimate.org. Yep, or Climate Smart Missoula. It all gets you to the same place. Yeah, we really do have a lot of information on our, our website and ways that people can tap in and, and get involved. All right, great. And hopefully come to our party. Well, thanks for joining us. Uh, is there anything else you want to say? Um, just thanks, Scott, for, for doing this and for having us here on, on MCAT. Yeah, thanks.